I have a really bad headache. It's actually killing me. And I've been down all day. But, on the flip side, it's also been bothering me how long I've not been on the road. And so I'm trying to think what exactly needs done to get back on the road. The pinion angle is good now. I mean, theoretically, I haven't put it on the road yet to test it. Um, roof rack is on, so that's good. I still need to go to Jeff's house to get that all figured out, but he hasn't replied to my message. And, uh, I was down today anyway, so I guess it worked out. Although I would have totally gone if he would have messaged me. Um, so aside from all that, um, this bolt goes to the transfer case. And, well, this bolt that goes inside of the transfer case actually came off the bracket for the shifter linkage. So when I try to shift into four-wheel drive, it just pivots around. It doesn't actually change the gears. So the problem is, is it's really hard to get this bolt in there. I can hardly get my hand in there, none less a wrench or a screwdriver. And there's only like that much thread left. So I'm gonna see if I can get this on there, but it's also got this like spinning washer thing. So it's gonna be really hard for me to get this on. Go away, mosquitoes. Okay, never mind. I give up. You really cannot see underneath there, but there's like four mosquitoes just swarming around me. And assuming I haven't already got bit, I am actually allergic to mosquitoes. Um, I thought I just really didn't like them, but I started doing research and when I get bit, okay, these ones have gone down, but that's because I had to take Benadryl. They don't usually look like this. They'll swell up this big and they itch and they burn. And apparently that's not normal. Mosquito bites are never supposed to itch or burn for adults at least. Um, they're not supposed to swell up. And these mosquitoes, I really need to get inside. I see them swarming around me. I even have like this candle and the bug spray doesn't work. The candle doesn't work. Like nothing works for me. the day decided it's gonna rain today or something I know it's getting close to get some of the leave I noticed the cliffs are usually right here and that's it and then the rear they always come to the bumper for that security but I think the biggest difference between the smitty bill cheapo and the thousand dollar whatever is Now, you know how you can do like cutouts and pieces of metal, oh, yeah. you know, like a scorpion or whatever you can do. You get a business logo. Or whatever. <laughs> that from the seven? Oh yeah, it is. It looks so small out. It's like same thing. It's under mine, isn't it? This is looking better. You can put it on any of these, and then this thing can also be flipped around. So you have lots of options. I've seen them on like custom muscle cars and stuff, but like I never knew where to buy them. I always thought they looked cool. <laughs> yeah, they're cool because uh, say that you're um, you're on a fall or whatever, you know, and you start tipping backwards, and uh, you know you're in first gear or whatever, you just go like this, and all of a sudden you're in reverse. You know, it just makes it nice just to be able to hit it. it clicks, it clicks into place, just real easy. So, um, coilovers, bump. Stops. Yeah, all kinds of goodies. Oh, and an atlas. <laughs> oh yeah, you got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like when you try to put it into gear, it just pivots. But then also, where it slides on to the actual piece right here, yeah. The that slid off too. So now it's just loose. It's just limp. If you sit in it, you can probably see what I mean. Jeff's dog just claimed my Jeep, so I don't own her anymore. <laughs> you gotta get your own Jeep you gotta mark it, buddy. I put all the all the wrench time into it. Yeah. You gotta help out at least a little or something. Ready? Do it again. Sit. Down at Jeff's house again, trying to brainstorm a couple ideas. So I got the Smitty Built roof rack, but the biggest issue with it is it's not the strongest but it also needs a basket for it and instead of getting like a garvin or whatever um jeff knows how to fabricate some crazy stuff he's got all this stuff over here if you haven't seen it already 
So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pay him, I'm gonna get some measurements here and we're going to get a whole roof rack thing built and stuff. And then hopefully I'll be able to show you guys actually, I'm gonna try to stiffen this up so it's gonna be able to handle the amount of abuse I'm gonna put it through. And I'm gonna probably try to get a video showing you guys how we do that. So you can see a little bit of a budget way to get a more heavy duty roof rack and not uh, have to spend $1,200 on a Garvin or something.